on a winning streak. I'm on a winning streak. I'm on a winning streak. Yeah, I'm on a winning streak. 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 Yeah, I'm on a winning streak. How fucking retarded this shit is? As long as you're a woman, you can raise your hand and be paid. How can I get a check? I'm a woman. That's exactly what the fuck they're doing. If a man would have said this shit, come on, man, get the fuck out of here. Damn, they would have been uh, arrested for public intoxication because you have to be high. You want us to pay you because you are dating someone? Is that not what the fuck you do when you do you want to be paid for the gas? Do you want to be reimbursed the energy that you uh, expelled while talking? The air that you... Uh... You're saying that because... Bitch, what the fuck happened was... Let me finish my statement. To know, to see that no man is safe whether you did it or you didn't do it they don't have to have evidence as long as they're women if you like it if not show me some love anyway <laughs> yo one degree now i'm trying to get two now i'm trying to make my mama's wrist look like an igloo trying to study forex piece tonight i need to hit you because we spent too many of our years in ignorance of fiscals i never knew i didn't know until my core percent homie set their mortgage with interest rates around four percent then they get some roommates and lease it out to get more for rent so they can try to make it what cost of living is exorbitant man how much it costs to be well off i try not to compare like the grocery brands and Kellogg's. So that's what that is. But I appreciate everybody and whoever gave that fifty dollars. If it wasn't a mistake, love, love, love. Uh, if it was, make sure you fix that. All right, today we're talking about Scottie Pippen's old side chick uh, coming forth after a hundred years, uh, like twenty some years, saying uh, Scottie Pippen she's suing him so that he can pay her for. Her paying for flights to go see him. Listen what the fuck going on. You know I ain't no fucking telephone. That these folks said. He claimed nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine dollars since that's that. Huh. Thousands in hotel expenses, gas, food, parking during their affair from nineteen eighty seven to nineteen ninety three. According to the blast, Valentine claims that she paid her own way to see Pippin when he played ball in other cities outside of Chi Town. Valentine believes that she's owed quite a bit, but can only claim $9,999 since that's, that's the maximum allowed in small claims court. Valentine also said that she didn't know how popular the ex ball player was at the top of his game alongside Michael Jordan. Um, she claims she. Why the fuck would that matter? Why in the fuck would it matter how fucking popular I was? I don't understand that. And second of all, the reason why this shit is even being fucking heard is... And I guess, you know, you can sue somebody for any fucking thing. I heard somebody sue their parents because they came out ugly and won. But the reason why this shit is, is even being entertained, another reason why it's being entertained is because of the Me Too movement. Um... Where we go retroactively fucking how many other years um, and exact justice if you're black. If you're white, you're bad. Um, if you're black, you go to jail. Um, and I think this came off the ass, son of a bitch. This came off of the Bill Cosby shit. What this girl saw, and this is what I'm saying, this is why it happened. She saw all these other women, ah... Uh, you see all these women raising their hand and getting and actually getting taken serious? When you hear this this retarded ass shit, 
a girl from 50 years ago, and then you see this bitch on Ellen, you see her on fucking Dr. Phil, Oprah, Steve Harvey, you actually see these motherfuckers sitting, uh, the, 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 doc, the Dr. Oz, you actually see them and being taken serious by the world, which is a whole nother, and since we're on Patreon, we can get into it. I posted something, and if I remember, I'm going to try to post it here. Um... I posted Nipsey also before he died he posted how much it costs to get 10,000 streams I think it costs like $40 I don't know I, I think it was four, I can actually look at it I think it was something like $40 for 10,000 streams was it oh $30 for 10,000 streams Spotify promotions campaign starting as low as $30 for 10,000 streams so this is what I'm telling y'all. Everything can be paid for and manipulated. It can all. So it's like, what the fuck? But the way that has to do with this is. Once you go on Ellen and you go to these places. All that a company. Let's say that we find out that everybody who came out against Bill Cosby. Actually, before they came out against them they went through a fucking management company and that management company handles all this shit so they can garner you attention and what they do is they'll put a bot behind your story and now it's in everybody's fucking IG fucking uh explore page and shit like that so this this is what this is what they call a story is um uh, gaining traction and shit like that so knowing this you can make anything a big fucking story. And if you know how to manipulate the right way, you can make anything into anything. Um, if you're a label, because it seems like this is information that only a label should have. Um, as an independent artist, you know, you just whatever, whatever. But then when you get with a label, now you the city girls. But before that, you just Carisha and the, the, the stealing hope. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think that it's a reason why they brought us all into this internet world. I don't believe this internet world is supposed to have people like me inside of it. People who are still being realist. I think for the most part you're supposed to be sucked in the internet to watch the Breakfast Club, Love and Hip Hop, NFL highlights, um, uh, fucking uh, metal against metal, uh, fucking was it uh, uh, Chef Ramsay's, whatever the fuck, you know what I'm saying? You, they want you to like, and while you're here, they're infecting you. Like it's something inside this phone that's infecting you. My mom, she she said something about this. Like you get addicted to this phone. You know what I'm saying? Like and we see it every day where, you know, if you wanna act like a young a young person, all you gotta do is just always be on your phone and shit like that, because that's all young people do. Like we were me and um shout out to um uh shout out to Keish. Uh we were talking about this um yesterday actually about the phones we had. I didn't get a cell phone till I was like a senior in high school and it was a Nokia block phone where you can just play a a a, a like the, the ringtones were you know tectronic they weren't the real words they would just they just like dee 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 you know what I'm saying then you might have a game like snake or centipede in your phone you know what I'm saying so we weren't infected from the wound with that shit nowadays a child five years old has a fucking tablet a tablet so I'm saying that in the same way I would say um, I think it's important for a adolescent a young adult young adult um, a teenager to find their passion in life before they find dope I've spoken about this before when I say that I was blessed to have found music before I found pills 
didn't find pills till I was like 21 years old. But if I would have found that, the way I went hard with them pills and shit like that, if I would have found that before the music, the music would have been non-existent. My existence at 17 came to fruition. Like, I'm supposed to be in music. It's all I ever... It's, all I did after that, it was over. My life was over. I'm dedicated to this music shit and nothing could sway me. So when I did start popping pills and shit like that, I used them to enhance the music. You know what I'm saying? And and work with the networking and shit like that. So it's just a blessing. But with these children, even us as adults, you see, uh, like I said, Katrina uh, sent me the... Uh, sent me a fucking um, video of a grown woman crying because Instagram ran a test run of n not having likes being shown so you don't know how many likes you have the bitch broke down just made up white hole a lot of you know what I'm saying and shit like that and she said I don't know what's going on right she's crying and shit like that so if it would do that to a grown woman, what do you think it's going to do to a 12-year-old girl? I think it's something in that shit, man. But like I said, you know, I think that they sucked us into this internet shit for a reason, man. Like, so that they could, because everything, in real life, in order to manipulate something, it's going to take thermite explosive devices a what is it a elevator clean a elevator repair crew um a demolition team maybe holograms you know what I'm saying? In order the the um, the the cooperation of all Viacom news. I probably shouldn't say that word. Um, all TV uh, news stations. You know what I'm saying? In order to act, to pull some shit off. Now that we're on the internet, all you need is to jack the numbers up, and we'll believe it. I want y'all to see this. I was going to put this on the Patreon, but let me let y'all see this. As a post on Patreon. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. Actually, it'll be easier just to post it on the screen, but I'm showing you because I don't know if I'm going to remember to post it on the screen. Is that a real store or a fake store? What it's saying is that uh, the House unanimous, unanimous, unanimously passes $67 million gay reparations tax bill. Mm. And I believe it. And it's crazy because it's like... Um, That could be fake as fuck, but I believe that the government would do that. Right in as right in the middle of black rep, slavery reparation talks. And slamming them slavery rep, uh, rep, uh, reparations to the fucking ground. Right in the middle of it. Y'all pay them. And what the fuck are we gonna do about it? We protesting! And they'll bring Al Sharpton, whoever the fuck, pay them to calm us. The same way they used to do in slavery days. Get a black preacher that they've told what to say and what scripture to read to make the slaves become more um, malleable. Calm them down because they're probably at uh, their boiling point. But if you want for if you want to pull the wool over the people's eyes, all you have to do is shoot the numbers up on it. Three million views. All it has uh, uh, 4,000 retweets and 100,000 shares and all that good shit like that. Oh, this is a fucking, this is, everybody's seen this. And you can, if you, if you don't know, you can 
a lot of you rap niggas are doing this. A lot of those rap niggas are doing it because we don't have them here on a Patreon. But what they'll do is you can actually pay a company and they'll put comments on your YouTube video. So you and there'll be comments like, this is a fire tune. Hey, I love this track. Where can I get it? Um, This is crazy hot. You know what I'm saying? There's some generic shit, and then of course you'll hit the profile, and it'll be a fucking fake profile, have one fucking subscriber on it, and shit like that. So you can manipulate anything on the internet, but the internet is where we live. Even we're, even when we're at home, we live on the internet. This is what keeps us docile. This is what keeps us subdued throughout the day. Because no matter where I am, I'm on the internet. I'm on the internet while I'm at home. I'm on the internet when I get in the car. I'm on the I'm in, on the internet as I'm driving across the bridge. I'm on the, so so much so that I could probably take a road trip to Atlanta and not even fucking notice. Where the fuck I am. Or even notice a difference. As long as I'm on the internet. I'm comfortable. Why is that? Honestly. Seriously. Listen to me. If you watch me all day and all night and shit like that. Of course you're going to be watching me. But turn this, turn this on. When you get in a uncomfortable place. You got to go to a new place and shit like that. You'll feel like you right here at the fucking house. You will feel comfortable. A sensation will come over you because you're always on the internet. Whatever you always watch, turn it on whenever you're... So it's, it's like, how is that not like a drug? I want you to think about that. But let's let's get to the story before we go too heavy on this motherfucker. But this is what we do on the Patreon. Shyvette Valentine is claiming that she spent thousands of dollars traveling to see Pippin and racked up thousands in hotel expenses, gas, food, parking during their affair from 1987 to 1993. According to The Blast, Valentine claims that she paid her own way to see Pippin when he played ball in other cities outside of Chi-Town. Valentine believes that she's owed quite a bit, but can only claim $9,999 since that's, that's the maximum allowed in small claims court. Valentine also said that she didn't know how popular the ex ball player was at the top of his game alongside Michael Jordan. Oh. So you're saying you, you, you didn't know who Scottie Pippen was? So when he said, Yeah, I got a game tonight, that that You thought he was talking about this playing with his homeboys? You were the only one in the world who wasn't watching TV then because you didn't have fucking. Do you hear how fucking ridiculous these claims are? Do you have any of the receipts? Does she, it, and it's this one, like, fuck her. She's just doing what the fuck she's been taught to do. You showed her that you can raise your hand, say me too, and be taken seriously as long as you're a fucking woman. This is the reason why I thought that the Men Too movement would have had overwhelming support. Am I the only one or are we the only ones who see how fucking retarded this shit is? As long as you're a woman, you can raise your hand and be paid. How can I get a check? I'm a woman. That's exactly what the fuck they're doing. If a man would have said this shit, come on, man, get the fuck out of here. Damn, they would have been uh, arrested for public intoxication because you have to be high. You want us to pay you because you are dating someone? 
Is that not what the fuck you do when you do you want to be paid for the gas? Do you want to be reimbursed the energy that you uh expelled while talking? The air that you uh, You're saying that because bitch, what the fuck happened was Let me finish my statement. To know, to see that no man is safe, whether you did it or you didn't do it, they don't have to have evidence as long as they're women. How could a woman walk past this fucking travesty? They're telling you that your son, your uncle, your nephew, your father, and your grandfather are in danger at this very moment. How could you not support something that's saying, no more? No more. You sit back and do nothing? You can't even sign a fucking petition? And see, this is the reason why I see shit like this. I'm going to have to put it on the Patreon because, you know, I would love to, you know... Run the, 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 the Men 2 channel the way I run the Stupid Rappers channel, the way I run the, the Rap Trap channel. But to be honest with you, the Men 2 podcast is the least supported channel that I have. We raised 700 We raised a whopping $700 for our defense fund. For the Men Too movement. So would you like to know how much the, the Me Too movement raised? $21 million and counting to pay the lawyers, to pay the people in charge, to grease the palms of uh, lawmakers and litigators. To help out the fucking victims with us seven hundred dollars the whole female race supports the me too movement of course they don't but you understand what i'm saying we got five thousand signatures on the me too movement so the petition that says we don't agree with the Me Too movement has 5,000 signatures, but you look up, every, Gucci Mane has to pay 120,000 a month. Is that correct? It's on that phone. I think he gotta pay, is it 120,000? I hope it's not 120,000. I hope I read it, I hope it was 10,000. I think Gucci Mane gotta pay Ten, ten thousand, and then Kevin Garnett got to pay twelve thousand, or it might be a hundred thousand. I'm not sure, but y'all will see those posts too. Um, all of y'all should be following me on Instagram or on Facebook, and it'll be posted there. But niggas are being uh, Chief Keith. Well, that he just retarded. He didn't got a fucking YouTuber pregnant and shit like that. But we're seeing examples of men being fucked over by the law. Fuck a bitch can say anything. People, humans will say any fucking thing, but the law is supposed to be the logical one. Lady Justice is supposed to be blind. But it seems like she can pull this fucking veil up and down. It's a man? Oh, I don't. It's a woman? Oh, I see her. What is it? How you do that shit? That type of shit. Why is the law upholding this retarded ass shit? And since they are, how in the fuck can we fault someone for wanting to be paid back? Why are they bringing this case forward? That's why I should have goddamn jumped on the goddamn thought I had when I had it. Because now I came in with the fuck the damn thought was. Well, I'm going to say the reason why she's doing this.
I can't remember it now. That's why I have to jump on shit when it comes to my head. And I don't finish thoughts. But obviously what's going on here is she sees she sees and the people who are pushing her out there see this as exactly what Harvey Weinstein was. A precedent. A new precedent has been set. So now if you're a regular What they're saying now is it doesn't fucking matter whether he buys you the Chanel bag or you buy yourself the Chanel bag or get someone fucking whatever you buy while whatever is bought <laughs> while in a relationship with a listen to me my nigga Chris Brown I'm talking to you well I can't talk to him because you probably can't see this shit. See, this is why I want this shit to be out there. But fuck them. As long as the money is spent. So, what I'm saying is that no matter whether you buy a Chanel bag, you flew her out, or she does it, she'll be repaid. This is what, what president is being fucking sent. I paid for my flight. I paid for uh, this and that. And I should be repaid because he had money? As a judge. As a lawyer. One who has uh, an abundance of fucking money. How in the fuck are you letting this ride? How are you even letting this... Are you fucking serious? Because he has money... I, sh I, I didn't know that he was that... How... What? I, I, it, it, it's so many thoughts going through my mind. It's like, what the fuck? So dating is now a... Not a emotional thing. It's a monetary thing. It's a business transition. Transition. Transaction. Um, it's the law that if you have more money than me, whatever money I spend, I'll be reimbursed. Not by your word, but by the law. No different than the fucking law saying that you have to pay for a child that you didn't want. You can have proof that you told her to get an abortion. You can have proof that she lied about her being on birth control. You have to pay for that child. I never wanted a child. I never asked for a child. She actually, I, I told her, I, she said she was on birth control. I told her I cannot have a child. I have a mental condition. I'm not in any uh, uh, position to be a father. I've been wrong. I'm the one who's been wronged in this situation. Furthermore, I gave her the money for the abortion and money on top of that. And she didn't get an abortion. How in the fuck do I have to pay for this child for 18 years? Are you serious? She lied about who she... I thought this was a nice woman. The whole time she was plotting on me to have a child so she can get my money. Oh, well, you should have knew who she was. What the fuck? I've been had. This is all a fucking scam to get my money. Oh, it, the law is the law. How? What does the law have to do with me being a good father? Like, it's not a crime to be a deadbeat. I, I should be able to. 
Don't get me started, because I can say some shit. If we talk about what's morally right and wrong, Man, it is it, it goes, you know, that's that's that whole adultery and shit like that. There's supposed to be a separation between church and state for a fucking reason. What the fuck, man? But you know, it is more the same, man. It's more the fucking same. Um But this is a precedent that's being set to say from this point forward, and we should look at it like this. As men, hey, shit no, fuck shit no, you look like the high maintenance type, or fuck this shit, from the jump, we're doing, in, we're doing NDAs from this point forward, whatever you buy is on you, but see, it's so many of you lame niggas that understand that without that money for one, you wouldn't even be with that, like, she wouldn't even look at you. And if that's the fucking case, you shouldn't look at her. But because you just so high, you out your mind and shit like that, they're gooing you. They're gooing the fuck out of you and you're allowing it to happen because you lame. You've never felt the presence of a woman and, and women have never wanted you. So now that they do, you're just overtaken by it. You don't, it's impossible for you to be celibate because you haven't fucked enough. You know what I'm saying? You haven't been around, it's, it's impossible for you to uh, uh, practice any form of isolation when, while you're successful. Which, I, I wanna, let me cut into that with the three S's shit. Um, Cause I've told y'all that you practice th the three S's to become successful. Um, but the reason you is, is is because you have high goals and shit like that and you are always setting new goals. So by the time you reach what you thought was success when you were fucked up, you should have been then changed to a new goal, to a higher goal. Let's say that you are on zero and your goal is to make the five. So you practice three S's to get the five. Once you got the five, you should set your goal to 10. So now it's like, I still, I'm still going to follow the three S's, even though now I'm successful, I reach success. I'm still going to follow the three S's because I want more success. Um, because if you practice the three S's and then as soon as you become successful, say fuck the three S's. Nine times out of ten, or you got a 50-50 chance of going back down to zero and have to practice, practice them shits again. To get back to where you were. Not to say that you can never fuck again. But the three S's are supposed to open your eyes. To where now you can make good decisions. Um, you have to understand that nobody is going to want to be around you. When you first start practicing the three S's. By the time you get to success. Now everyone's going to be around you. So if you drop the three S's. It's going to be a fucked up situation. So I, I need to uh, recalibrate um, what I'm telling people because I would hate for someone to practice the three S's till they get the success and then, all right, I made it, so I'm good and I can do everything I want. Like, no, nah, that's the worst time to do that shit. But that was a side note. But as you're... As a rapper, the, a lot of these lame niggas, uh, I'm going to try to smoke perp and how he uh, was hollering at 6 uh, 9 baby mama and shit like that. And how the reason why these niggas speak to nothing ass bitches like they're nothing ass bitches is a very crazy thing. It, it's, it's, that's why I got to talk about it and explain it and break it down. Because, yeah, she's a nothing ass bitch. But even nothing ass bitches should be respect should be respected by certain people. You know what I'm saying? If she a nothing ass bitch, let her be a nothing ass bitch. You don't have to come at her. And I know that I've said it before. Like you should ask that bitch how much. But 
you know, bitch, let me fuck. Like, that's what he told her. Like, uh, jail six nine, baby, I'm trying to fuck. And it's just like he was like real aggressive with it. And he did that because he doesn't know how to talk to a girl, period. He doesn't know how to talk to a woman, period. So he thinks, rah, 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 is how you talk to every woman. That's not the case. But because you've reached a certain level of success and females will allow you, nothing ass bitches will allow you to talk to them like that and still smile and laugh, you think, rah, this is how I always talk. And it's, it's just a, a, a lame ass thing. Um... And another reason why they let you talk to them like that is because they're trying to get something about you. Uh, so they don't give a fuck what you call them as long as the money is on the dress afterwards. Um, a lot of you niggas have never had the presence of a woman. So you... You won't put down anything. You won't put down any rules. You won't lay out anything. You'll just let anything ride. And in the era we're in right now, that's the worst thing that you can do. Not only are these nothing ass bitches opening up new charges in 2019, they're bringing back cases from the fucking 80s. No man is safe. No man. So for you to be around this bitch high, doped up and shit like that, especially after that, I, I, the video on my Instagram, uh, niggas in the in the fucking room throwing the money up with the, with the bitch in the, the blue Adidas jogging suit. So she dancing and shit like that while he throwing the money up. And then like three seconds fucking later, this bitch tries to, they raped us. Her clothes is still on and everything. But I guess he didn't give her enough money or some shit like that. Maybe she found out that the fucking money is fake. Now they find a phone in the back pocket. He raped us. Yep, sure did. They know that this is what this is the key word. This is the safety word. Bananas, bananas, pineapples. You know what I'm saying? They know the fucking safety word. Just say that he fucking raped you. If if you're around a male, if you want him to succumb. Or just, you can have it on your mind. I'm telling you, there are women predators out here. And because all of them look the fucking same, you have to be like, I can't, I, I, I no, I can't tell what's going on. So I'm going to either somebody, if I can't record everything, then I can't do it. If you can't sign this, I can't do it. I got a video on my Instagram again. You gotta get my Instagram. Um, Michael Blackston, some white or Israeli and Kim Kardashian looking bitch with the Botox in her lip, uh, like she got the ass shots and shit like that. She like, uh, I'm not gonna fucking sue you. That's how the camera comes on. And then he like smiling and shit like that. And the dude with the camera like, no, nah, you gotta say it. I'm not, you can grab my ass. And that's what she had to say in order for him to you know what I'm saying? Take the picture with her and smack the ass. Like, smack the ass and shit like that. Like, she wanted him to smack her ass. But that's what the fuck you have to do. In this era, you have to have it recorded. That she wanted this. She wanted to be treated like a frivolous hooker. And that's what I treated her like. There was no payment included here. Um, everything was uh, forthcoming. It was forthright. She was willing. I was willing this is consensual. You can't just have her sign a non-disclosure agreement before y'all fuck because she can say, oh yeah, I was with it in the beginning, but then midway through, I kept telling him to stop and he wouldn't stop. And you're going to be well fucking surprised when they bam your ass because they'll get that bitch that all these fucking nothing ass bitches get. The fuck is this woman name? Uh, that, that defends all the nothing ass bitches. Um... Whatever the fuck her name is. But they'll get her and then she'll be up that bitch fake crying like Black China. And your ass is bound. That's all this shit is, dawg. It, it, it's, it's fucking ridiculous. But this is the new precedent and this is what I wanted to put out there. The new precedent is 
it don't matter if you buy it or she buys it at this point as long as it's bought while you guys know each other because the relationship is on her motherfucking she says when the goddamn relationship was over you not nigga ain't in that bitch uh we met on august 1st 2002 2012 i'll never forget that day nigga ain't like that and we broke up i it was the worst day of my life we broke up august the, the, the second 2012 it was the worst day of my life like what the fuck niggas ain't on that type of shit so she'll tell the courts you're not going to the courts and it's all what we're learning is it's not about the fuck happened it's about who calls the police it's about who files a fucking report so when she goes and says it was from this time to this time i bought this 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 and this and this and this and this right here and uh yeah i i he he told me he was gonna uh pay me back for it no the fuck i didn't yeah he did quiet sir go on ma'am where in the fuck am i at so that's what the fuck this is, man. That's what this is. Uh, pure point blank. They're trying to set a new precedent. She didn't know he was a married man or that he had an infant. And when they had their first tryst, um, Pippen was a widely known player for the Bulls, which is arguably one of the best basketball NBA teams in history. The alleged sidekick also said that Pippen lied about having a baby. Even when she saw bottles of formula at his house, she said that he told her that the milk was for his sister. It wasn't so until Valentine's Day, 1988, when Pippen reportedly told her the truth about everything, yet she continued to have a love affair with him until 1990. I'm gone. I'll see you in a minute. Hold on. Let me see. Three. So they kept dating until night. She told him at night. Uh, he told her in 1988 that he was married, and they still kept fucking till 93. But now you coming to court. Fuck you, bitch. I look. I see y'all in a minute, man. Um, this is what the fuck it is, and this is what the fuck we're gonna meet by just me and two shit. I see y'all in a minute. Love, love.